Hi, welcome to Patty's Crafty Creations. Thanks for taking time out of your day to hang out to chat, craft, and create with me. Today, I am making some note card sets, and I thought I would take you along the journey. So, I have some, I'm not note card sets, <laughs> cards here, and I thought I would share um, what I'm doing with them and the envelopes. So, the first card is going to be Butterflies. And I'm going to stamp them all out first, and then I'm going to color them. And I'm not going to do the coloring part with you, but I thought I would um, take you on the journey of making the cards themselves out of the stamping. And um, share with you some of the stamps I've gotten. Um, this one is a Dollar Tree stamp, and I absolutely have used this one a lot. The butterflies are my favorite part of these stamp sets from the Dollar Tree. I'm hoping to get the new ones that they have because those new ones are really beautiful. So I'm using my bean, black bean I think it's called, yeah, black bean from Colorbox. And I am just stamping my card with it and making sure my card is even here. And I'm just going to be stamping away, I'm not going to um, be coloring them in um, just yet, but I thought I would take you along so my process and whatnot so I'm just gonna grab this one and I am doing the envelopes to match them because I just think that is a really pretty thing to do with stamping so I've got my ink and I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp my butterfly on there it's really pretty and I just want to kind of angle them so they're kind of mid-flight looking like they're getting ready to take off on here on this side isn't that pretty and i think what i'm going to do with this one is i'm going to add one of these papers onto the side here just so it adds a little bit more dimension to this one but we'll do that after. So I'm going to set that over there. And I'm going to go ahead. And I want the envelope to match. So I'm making sure my envelope is the right way. And I'm going to start on the bottom over here. And then I'm going to work my way up. Doing the same thing I did with that one. And I'm going to stop just above where you're going to put your name on here. So that that does not run with it at all. I'm just grabbing a, a wipe over here to uh, clean off my stamp before I put it back down. So I'm going to put that back there. And I really love these ones. They have a lot of detail. So I'm going to grab this one next. It's a little bit bigger than that one, and that one's going to be for my next one. So I'm going to take these, and I'm just going to put that card right on that envelope so I know that that goes with that one. And then we'll just set it over here and grab the next card. And I'm going to do the same thing I did. I'm going to flip my block, though, so that that gives this side a chance to dry. And I'm going to pop that on. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I call this one the Monarch more so than that one. I think I'm going to go to the inside on this one. I think this one looks more like a Monarch than this one. This one is, the one my finger here is on, I think is more of a Monarch butterfly than this one. Because it has those white details around the outside. And I want to do the same thing. I'm going to tilt it, kind of making it look like it's doing that mid-flight thing, like a whole bunch of monarchs are taking off. And this one I'm only going to be able to fit three because it's so big. It's really pretty. And then we'll grab the envelope and do the same thing. I'm probably only going to be able to get two on this envelope though. So I don't block that writing. And 
That is beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and clean my stamp block. Put that on so it doesn't dry out. So there's another set there. I'm just gonna pop that card in there. And we're gonna take this one and put it back in its spot where it goes in my... Oh, I lost the piece to it. Where did I put that? I don't remember what I did with the backing, so we're just gonna pop it in here. For now, maybe, or on it. I think I dropped the backing to it, unless it's in the, oh no, oh there it is. <laughs> Losing my mind sometimes. We're gonna pop it back in where it goes so I don't lose where it goes in there. And we're gonna grab the tree next, and some of these I have those beautiful wax seals that I'm gonna put with them so that they can have a wax seal if they when they purchase as well. And then I absolutely am in love with this one. I think there. You'll be able to see what it looks like here. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. So this one I'm going to do this way if it will fit. I'm just testing to see first. Yeah, it's not going to fit that way. So it will have to be this way. But that's okay. Let's get this baby all done up here. a lot of space to cover. Oh, and I got ink on the corner, so that one's going to have to set aside for now. I can turn that one into a collage card. I'm going to hold this one on here for just a moment and I'm going to push down with my hands because I want to make sure I get every bit of this tree on here. And let's see. Oh, I did. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? So I want to do one more of that one. I really like the Tree of Life ones. I just think they're really pretty. And then I want to add a moon to it. And it, I sometimes add a silver overlay on these, but I'm not going to do that with this one. I just want this one to stand alone on its own. I just think it's a really pretty card. I'm going to give it a little jiggle jiggle. Isn't that pretty? So beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and wipe this one off. And I'm going to switch the block onto the other side as well. And I want to add a moon. So I got recently got these ones from Timu. Make sure I don't have ink on my fingers before I pick that up to show you. So I recently got these ones from Timu. And I really want to use like a crescent moon, I think. I think it will add to it. So I want to go with the smallest one. So I think I'm going to use this one here. Flip my block and I want it to sit like that. I'm going to test it out on this one first just to see how I like it. Make sure we got it the right direction. So that's what it's going to look like. I thought it would have a little bit of an outline to it. Let's check again. Yeah, that's what that looks like. I don't really like that one for this project. So I think I'm going to go with the full one. I thought it would be outlined more, but that didn't outline. So let's try the full moon one and see how that looks. Let's see how that looks on there. Oh, I got my thumb in the way on that one. 
So that one looks a little bit better. Before I put it on there, though, I want to see how it's going to look. Yeah, I think that would look pretty. Maybe. Maybe I should do a tester. It's hard to tell because I have all those moons on there. I think it's going to be pretty. We're going to go with it. We'll check it. If I don't like it, I'm sure somebody will like it. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, it does kind of look pretty. Okay, we're going to go with it. No turning back now. <laughs> that one came out a little bit lighter. But those are pretty, right? I think. They're pretty. So I'm not going to use that moon one for the outside of the card. I have another one that's really pretty. We're going to put that moon back onto there. And that one's going to go in my Timu file partition. In this set here, I have this beautiful moon one that tree right there has this pretty thing on it so I'm gonna go with that one for the envelopes on those so grab that baby I think this is gonna be really pretty on those envelopes Make sure we get them the right way first. Okay. Oh yeah, that is gorgeous. I'm really happy with how that came out. So that's going to go with one of the Tree of Life cards. We'll pop that over there. My ink keeps popping up. Okay. And then that one that give it a little jiggle jiggle and that is going to be a beautiful set as well pop that open a little bit okay so those are done we're going to put those away and we'll come back with some blending for inks I think and see how that looks so it will be right back okay so I decided I'm not gonna color them in the traditional way I wanted to do some ink blending and I thought this would be perfect so I have my little board here it's used for everything and I've got some colors so we're gonna start with the yellow and I just want to add a little bit of yellow. Check my brush here just to make sure we got yellow. I'm just going to rub it on here. Just want to make sure we have a nice consistency of color for yellow. Okay. We have our yellow. We're going to dab a little bit. I'm going to take and put it on this part again to make sure we've got that yellow that we're looking for. And I just want to do the moon. So I'm just coming up here in the corner and working my fingers around just to get that moon a little colored. Just like that. I just wanted to have a touch of color with that moon. So right here is the way I'm bringing my fingers. Just that little bit of color. I just think it's really pretty. And I'm just going around the edges here. And I think I'm going to do it down here, but not as dark. So just like that. I'm really happy with how that one turned out. So we're going to repeat that for the next one. And I've still got color on here, so I'm just working it back and forth in that same pattern, going around like this with my brush. And I only want a little subtlety with this one. 
so you can see the difference. I'm not adding more ink to my brush at all. So you can see that subtlety. This one is more in your face. This one's more subtle, which I really like the subtle one better. And then the same with the envelopes. I'm gonna turn it over so that ink has a chance to dry. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm not gonna take and add more ink to my brush here. And I'm just gonna work it back and forth. And I might need a little bit of dab of ink there. And I'm just working the corners out and in towards the center. Just letting the brush do all the work for me here. So you get that subtlety of color. And the same thing, I'm just gonna turn it and I'm gonna work from that corner out just to get that subtlety of color. And if I need to, just dab a little bit of ink on my brush. Working from that corner. Again, letting the brush do the work. So you get that pretty little pop of color. So that is a card set there. I am going to color in the moons a little bit more because I want them to pop, pop. So what I'm going to do is I'll do that after I'm done with the ink so it has a chance to dry. But until that, I'm going to take the envelopes and pop them behind it and just leave them like that. And then I'm coming in with those butterflies. I'm going to flip this over, give that ink a chance to dry. And because that is close to the edge on this one, I'm going to do that edge there and I'm going to just dab a little bit. And again, I want to work from that corner. Just work, letting the ink do itself. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Just dabbing my brush onto it, not really hard, and work out from that corner letting the brush do all the work and then I'm going to go to the next color it's a shade darker and this one I got at Salvation Army thrift store as well and it took me a while to figure out how to open this one because I've never used the stamping up inks like this and I'm again just letting that brush grab it and working from that edge and going out and it's just a subtle hint of darker shade here with this one. And I'm just letting it do all that work for me. And you can see it's starting to blend in right there. So I'm gonna set that one aside over here, let it dry a little bit. Do the same thing with this one. I let this one do all that work as well. And let it work in that yellow down there. And then I'm gonna take this off. Not good with these ones. <laughs> then I have this Cameo Coral. It's like a pink color. And it's a shade darker as well. So this one is kind of pink. And that one is just going to do that work for me as well. As you can see, it's really looking pretty there. So I'm going to set that one aside as well. And grab my other one here. And I'm trying to get it so that it lands on the same blank space as that card before it. So I'm really just letting the brush grab that ink off of it. And I'm working it down into that next level, down below it. Just like that. And then I'm gonna grab this color block one. We're gonna pop that closed. I'm gonna grab that color block. And I'm gonna dab on this one because it's a different type of ink. We're gonna let it work its magic as well.
And look how gorgeous those colors are. We started at that yellow and then went to the um, other yellowy there, the apricot. And then we went to cameo coral. And then this one is chiffon white. That's what it says, chiffon white. It's really like an orangey color when I mixed it with that color. And just give it a little bit of plump there. That's really pretty. It's got a nice little hint of rainbowy effect to it. Get this one done here. And this video is getting long, and I do apologize. And I thank you if you've stayed with me for the whole thing. And if you're fast forwarding, that's okay. So that's done. And now let's do the envelopes real quick. I'm going to flip this over. I'm pretty sure we're getting really lengthy in our video here. This time I'm going to start with that chiffon pink. And start on the bottom. And just let that one kind of do its thing. It's barely even registering on this paper, but it's going to be pretty. So the next color we did was Cameo, so we're going to grab that one again. The Cameo one you can definitely see there is a lot better. You can definitely see the Cameo one a lot better on here. And then I want to end with that apricot color because it's kind of orangey, which is perfect for these monarch butterflies. And I'm just brushing it on there. And then just going to kind of go in a circular motion with it. I went to the bottom on this one because that chiffon pink really didn't show. But you can see it now. So we're going to just do the same with this one. Just like that. And we're done. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I will see you in the next video.